Well, hello, hello, everybody. How you doing? It's good to see you, and I'm so excited to be with you this evening, and I just have a couple of things on my mind that I want to share with you. You know, I have just a couple of motivational words. I, I even typed it out, you know. So Y'all should feel special, because usually I just get up here and just say whatever, but I said, I'm going to come prepared, because that's all I need to do in life is be prepared. So, the, I have three topics I just want to touch on. Um, one is focus, one is motivation, and the other is communication. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let me, let me, let me calm down, because I'm, I'm ready. I just want to just go, go into it. Let me, I got to bring y'all on this journey with me. So to really have a plan in life, you have to find your success. And success is much easier when you have a plan. So you need to focus on something so you can do something. Success is dependent upon what your end goal in life is. And a lot of us are confused about what the end goal really is. They say, okay, well, if I have this house, then I'm good. If I have this car, then I'm okay. If I have this person, then I'm fine. But really, the end goal is happiness because that's, that's what you want. Those are all means to an end. The end goal is actually happiness. Are you with me so far? Yeah. I'm excited about it because we waste so much time focusing on what we don't have and what we don't want to happen, what we need to do is to be focused on what's in our life and appreciate that and focus on the good in our life. If we spend time in negativity, focus on, oh, well, I had such a bad day or my car didn't start today and all these negative things that can happen on a day-to-day day -day basis, you've made that choice to focus on that. Yes, that happened, but there's still so much else you can appreciate life about. Because I always say, if you're really having a bad day, and everything just going wrong, ask yourself one question, are you breathing? And if you are breathing, then your day is amazing. You can still change that day into something positive because you have breath in your body. Are you with me? Oh, I'm excited about it. We need to imagine what we want in life. Do not be afraid to imagine. If you can imagine it, it is possible. Using a light bulb was imagined. Driving a car was imagined. Flying an airplane was imagined. But it happened, and it's happening. If you don't take the time to really imagine what you want your life to be, then how are you gonna get there? If you don't see it, if you can't see it for yourself, then how are you gonna get there? You're not gonna get there because there's nothing to get to because you haven't thought about it. Take time to think about that. Ooh, that, oh, that, I felt that. I, I'm really talking to myself. I'm really just motivating myself. Hopefully y'all get a little something, but I'm just, I, I'm here just to just give you a little something, something. The next topic is, is, is motivation. You are your biggest motivation. A lot of people say, my haters are my motivators. But how can you have haters if you're not doing anything? Because you haven't thought of anything to do. Are you with me? And if you don't have haters, where's your motivation? You are your motivation. Don't look for extrinsic circumstances to come around to push you to your next level. That's the, the environment is unpredictable. We don't know what's gonna happen around us, but we know what's happening in us. So if you focus on you to push you to where you want to be, then you'll get there. Oh, I, 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 I hope you get it, I hope you get it. Here you go. To find the motivation inside of you, focus on the good in your life. And that will bring you the happiness into your spirit. And you will feel good and you can focus on the objective you have set for yourself. So really take time to set objectives. If you wake up in the day and say, this is what I want to get done today. And focus on that. Focus on that end goal. Imagine that. Because somehow we go through the day and you know we, we make it to the house. We make it back to our bed. You know, if, you, if the end objective is to make it home all right, then let that be that. If you have to start there, start from somewhere. Because if you don't start from somewhere, you'll just be there and just existing. We are humans, we're not meant to just exist, we're meant to live. Mm. I'm excited. And this, uh, I, I'm, just, I'm going through it. I hope you're getting it, I'm, I'm just going through it. And the, the last topic I want to talk about, which is very important and near and dear to my heart, is 
communication. Because we live in a time where we are so connected, but we lack a true connection. We have Facebook, we have, we used to have MySpace, not many people use that anymore. We have Twitter, we have all these means to connect with someone, but we, we, we don't have that person-to-person -person time. You're trying to send a text and say, I love you, but you just see that text. If I come to you and tell you, I love you, then you felt that. And that's the connection that we're missing. So you just be aware. Technology is great. I'm not knocking technology because it's amazing and it's awesome. But just be aware that that is not going to sustain you to have a great and successful life. Don't depend on the creation of man to get to where you want to be. Create for yourself. As a result of us, uh, we ha are having trouble expressing how we feel to one another. Because we, some people like to text and not talk. They say, well, you know, don't, I can't really talk on the phone. I'm too busy. Just text me. And you, well, you don't have the, those person-to-person -person skills. You can't hold a conversation because you don't have conversations anymore because you're just texting. When you're texting in the same room, Hey, how you doing? This is what happened. You, you text me looking at the lab. They're right next to you. That didn't happen three or four or five years ago. That didn't happen. I mean, just wow. It just it amazes me. You must make it a point to be honest with yourself so that you can truly have a genuine connection with another. Because if you don't know yourself, then you can't connect with someone else on a level that's, that's worth anything. So really just, just know that and take that time to really get to know yourself. Because a lack of honesty in us will lead to a miscommunication of feelings with others. A lot of people, and I'm gonna touch on relationships just for a second. A lot of relationships in our generation really lack communication with people not communicate. You expect the other person to just know. I'm standing here. You should just know how I feel. I'm here. Communicate how you feel in a positive way, and they'll react in a positive way. Take time to truly make an, an honest assessment of yourself. We're so caught up trying to get into the life, they call it Facebook stalking. You, you, as soon as someone friends you on Facebook, what you do, you, 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 you accept the friend request, go straight to the photos, look at through, through their life, and you know, just say, okay, they did this, okay, I'll see that, okay, look at all their statuses. But really, we need to take the time for us Take the time, you know, detach yourself for, for a moment from this technology and from other people and really get to know yourself. Because we don't take that, 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 that you time, we don't take our time for us. And if we don't take the time to really build ourselves up, then, you know, people are gonna try to build us up and they might be, they might be installing the wrong things into us, into us if we don't do it for ourselves. So really take that time to really assess. If you had a bad day, when you get home, really think about how you wanted your day to go so you can go to bed feeling positive. Because I tell you, it's all about positivity. If you're positive, if you give love, then you are going to, your success is just going to find you. Because negative people get nowhere. If you're, if you, hate doesn't get you anywhere. Anger doesn't get you anywhere. But love creates. We were all created out of love. Parents loved each other and created you. That's deep. Do you get that? Love creates. Mm. Take time to truly align your feelings into the realm of positivity. And that I really just said that earlier, and I, I have to say it many times so you can get it. Because if you begin to gossip and to talk negative about someone else, that's not going to hurt them, but it's going to hurt you. R really understand that this tongue is very powerful. And what you say can build or we can hinder. Yes. You just want to build and you want to impart good stuff into someone's life because that's going to come back to you. Realize and know that what you give out will come back to you. So just, just know and, and understand that. Really, take time to understand that. Because if you are talking about someone, if you even are talking about yourself in a negative way, that's what, that's what you're attracting into your life. When you say, wake up in the morning, you say, well, I'm going to have a bad day. Well, you are going to have a bad day because that's what you've spoken out into the atmosphere. So if you just say, I'm going to have a great great day, this will be okay, and it will, because you've said it. Because you know, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so I'll leave you with this. So give love to get love. 
and that will take you to the next level of your success. That will take you to the next part of your destiny. Just know and believe that. Live that. Give that love and watch and see what happens. Thank you so much.